As a family-owned company, community outreach and sustainability are important to Ewing. Today we're at the California School for the Deaf in Riverside, California. Our goal is to teach the students about urban farming and food production and allow them to harvest the vegetables grown here to be used in the on-site kitchen. So what we're doing down here on this side is creating an urban production farm so the kids have an area to plant the fruits and vegetables for the kitchen. We're installing 35 rows of subsurface irrigation, each broken down into seven rows each, independently operated by a ball valve. So what we're doing down here in the community garden is using point source irrigation. This gives the school and the kids a lot more flexibility with what they plant seasonally. So there's 24 of these raised beds. They're four by eight. The neat thing about these is they were constructed here by the kids at the school in their wood shop. As far as what I provided and our company provided, we just worked with the irrigation setup. I think personally that anytime you have the opportunity to give back to the community in some way, that's a great thing to do. It's great for the school, for the kids. It's great for me because I, I, I enjoy doing it and it's a skill I can provide for the community. So Kellogg Garden Products donated the organic soils for this project at the California School for the Deaf. We've been organic since 1925 and we love being involved in a project where it's teaching how children can connect their food to growing their own food. Toro is all about our community and so when we can help our partners like Ewing Irrigation build a community or when we can partner with the California School for the Deaf here in our hometown, Riverside, California, it meets all of our needs, all of our objectives and all of our goals as a company. For this project, Toro donated a water smart irrigation system which included our blue stripe drip hose, point source emitters, the DL2000 subsurface drip line, and an evolution series controller which included a smart weather sensor so that the irrigation schedule will adjust automatically based on the season. I'm Chris with Corona Tools and we provided all the uh, hand tools that they use to come out and plant all these beds and uh, help plant the plants so we've got things like rakes, shovels and some little trowels and things like that for them to use out in the raised bed gardens. We actually started a program called Corona Cares and that is a program that is designed to give back to the community. This is a perfect example of uh, events that we participate in. Uh, Audubon International and Ewing Irrigation have formed a partnership, so for the next three years we're going to be working together on issues of sustainability, which include bringing projects like Pride Projects to communities that are working to increase their sustainability and their sustainable footprint. Hi, welcome to an awesome day here at CSDR. We are the California School for the Deaf in Riverside. We are the only deaf school in Southern California. We have uh, deaf students that live here on the campus. They attend school here. They start at the age of 18 months and go all the way through the age of 22. We're fortunate enough to have what we call a FEAST program. That's food education and service training. This garden will not only provide food, vegetables, fruit, and everything for our students to make delicious meals for themselves, it is valuable information for our students to have this opportunity to work with so many wonderful organizations that really have poured into our students. It's beautiful. I can't say enough about it. I am so proud and I'm so grateful to be involved with this project. I can't thank Ewing enough uh, for their opportunity. Hey! Are you gonna eat these vegetables when they're finished growing? I don't like vegetables. I like planting the vegetables. 